okay students in this video I'm going to discuss about winter monsoon now uh, here uh, what happened is during uh, during winter season the Sun migrates towards the southern hemisphere uh, due to the apparent movement of the Sun in the southern hemisphere the uh, Tropic of Capricorn will be experiencing maximum insulation or direct insulation thereby this area will experience low pressure on the other side northern hemisphere due to less insulation this area the temperature will reduce thereby the pressure will also increase so increasing pressure will try to uh, will allow the wind to move from high pressure area towards the low pressure areas so this wind is coming from the landmass so thereby this wind is uh, totally dry with uh, limited moisture okay, thereby it does not give rainfall during the winter season in the Indian uh, landmass okay as in this area uh, in the state of Tamil Nadu along the Kor Coromandel coast it gives rainfall because uh, once it passed through this uh, region there is a gulf here so uh, within this gulf this air will try to pick up some amount of moisture and give rainfall along the Coromandel coast but the other region of India and some part of the adjoining region will not receive rainfall because this air is blowing from the landmass this is why this uh, winter monsoon remains dry and winter monsoon blows from which direction it blows from north east direction so this is why it is also known as north west north east monsoon wind okay so winter monsoon or north east monsoon wind which is almost dry does not give rainfall hope you have understood the concept of summer monsoon as well as winter monsoon